To balance this equation, barium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid yields barium sulfate plus water. Let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation. I have one barium, I have the one oxygen here, and I'm going to leave this sulfate by itself. Let's not count that right now. And because I have a two here, it's the one times the two. So I actually have two oxygen atoms and then hydrogen, one hydrogen there, times this two here. This two applies to everything in the parentheses times the two. That gives me two. Plus, I need to add these two right here to it. So actually, I have a total of four hydrogen atoms. And then the sulfate, because I have a sulfate here and I have a sulfate here, the SO4 on both sides, I'm just going to say I have one sulfate on this side. And over here, I have the one sulfate. That'll make it a lot easier. It gets confusing when we have all these big numbers of oxygens involved. For the barium, I have one. For the oxygen, I have one. And for the hydrogen, I have two. Let's see, why don't we fix the hydrogens first? I have two here and four here. If I put a two in front of the water, two times two, that equals four. And then we need to update the oxygen. We have one times the two. That'll equal two. And all of a sudden, this equation's balanced. When we see a polyatomic ion, like the SO4, and it's on both sides, you can count it as one thing. And then that way it doesn't get all mixed up with these other oxygens here and make things complicated for you. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for BaOH2 plus H2SO4 yields BaSO4 plus H2O. And thanks for watching.